Hi everyone and welcome to this final video on activity ratios. In the first video we walked through inventory turnover and days in inventory. In video two we walked through receivables turnover and day sales outstanding. In video three we looked at AP turnover and days payables outstanding. Now we're going to look at that cash conversion cycle. So since we have calculated a day's in inventory, a day's sales outstanding, and a day's payables outstanding, we can now calculate the cash conversion cycle for Amazon. The stock symbol is AMZN if you want to follow along with these videos. So in 2015 for Amazon, their cash conversion cycle consists of a day's in inventory of 47 days plus a day's sales outstanding of 21 days minus a day's payables outstanding of 145. So if we take 47 plus 21 minus 145, we get a minus 78 total days. What this means is that from an inventory turnover perspective and a receivables turnover perspective, we can get cash fairly quickly. Those are two cash generating processes. When they sell products and services, they are generating cash. So they can generate cash with their inventory within 47 days. So that's cash coming into the business. They can convert their receivables into cash, have money coming into the business within 21 days, which is pretty nice but then they don't have to pay their suppliers until 145 days out. So suppliers are probably not happy about that. However, however, for Amazon, this is a great working model because they get cash very quickly, but they don't have to use it as fast. So this is actually a wonderful cash conversion cycle for Amazon. Anything that goes into the negative numbers, meaning they pay out money slower then they generate cash. That's a wonderful business model. And as you can see with Amazon's stock price, it's pretty high, it's, it's up there. Um, and I think they are rewarded for the fact that their cash conversion cycle is so extraordinarily good. And in 2014, their cash conversion cycle was a minus 73. So they were still converting cash very well, bringing cash into the organization in a relatively short period of time, but they don't have to pay out their, their payables for a much longer period of time. So that's a sweet deal for Amazon. Now every industry may look different. For example, if we were to look at Boeing, Boeing's cash conversion cycle is a positive number and it's a fairly large number, but their business model is very different than Amazon. And it doesn't mean that one or the other isn't successful. They both are very successful companies, but you can tell that Amazon is a very cash rich organization and they generate cash at a much faster clip than they actually use cash, which is a wonderful thing. So if you have any questions about any of these videos, please leave them below and I'll be happy to help you out. And I look forward to seeing you on another video.